welcome to tech talk tech so in my last video i just showed how to inspect the ios elements using xcode accessibility inspector right so it has uh, labels and uh, class name and other properties as well the action you can want to perform scroll or up or whatever it is and also second thing is like um, you can get the hierarchy of that elements so but there you can't get the export formation so there is a if uh, there is one more tool you can easy easily you can uh, get that xpath so that tool is built on top of that cylindroid uh, inspector and so you can get the tool from this link so that will be under uh, this you can get that tool uh, so uh, as he mentioned uh, so you need to uh, start the test and put the breakpoint so wherever you want to uh, inspect the element so once you put the breakpoint on the particular page you can get the uh, locators like this can get this yep right so there you can get the absolute xpath and uh, you can get the copy the absolute xpath and you can form the relative xpath so depends on you <laughs> so yeah so let's let's try once like I already uh, got some of the xpaths like uh, so this is how the xpaths looks so let me try so wh what I'll going to do I'll just remove this here this will be the name yes. so I'm going to put the breakpoint here So, so before that you need to clone the code so I already cloned the code so I can show the code where it is yeah so AI APM iOS inspector so from there I get the, uh, these are the supporting files JavaScript files and other things CSS and this is the major main HTML page so that's it so just you need to clone the code and also when, whenever you start the APM server it's mm, pointing to which port and uh, which uh, IP so that you need to change so for that you need to change in uh, the particular uh, things in inspector.js so yeah so you need to change the APM port here so here you need to change the APM port so whatever irrespective of whatever the port you are starting and whatever the IP you are starting just come and change it here so that you can get the you can able to inspect the element okay so what I'm going to do is just like going to start it. So it's already APM server is running. I'm going to start. So this is my UDI ID. So next I'm going to let me run it on debug mode. So it started. Yes, I'm running on real device. Let me. On the device as well. Yes, uh, let me run it once. Go run debug mode. Yep, so we we'll get started. Yes, the device is, yeah, this is the device. Close it this once start from scratch, like just I'll start from this HTML page once the app is launched. App is starter. App 
open it yes you can get yeah. you just know it's launched the driver and then started the yes so it just clicked and it's come to the breakpoint yes so now i will go and refresh this page cool so i got the screen so you can able to get all the properties you can right side you can see the type and accessibility layer accessibility id and then value <coughs> sorry is visible on other properties so now i want to click uh, back so you want to click back in this button you can get this x path this has absolute x path i'm going to make it uh, some relative x path here okay so after clicking alert i need to click back button yes so what i'm going to do this is a very big one right i'm uh, i remove that i'll go into uh, make relative x path the name equal to it's a back right yeah so what i'm going to do put on uh, find x by bar find element by x path i will just copy it and put it here and click yes so I'll run this run this yes started so here you can get all those uh, ID accessibility ID and labels so you can see that like uh, not always the label and then accessibility ID will not the same case so some of the some of the case it will be the same so you need to check so where we can use proper accessibility ID for this for display name as well as display label as well as the accessibility ID so both are same so you can easily get that accessibility id and the labels so accordingly you can use it yes launched this is launched clicked and click back yes so using this can get that so let's see the some other scroll view okay let me click on scroll view first so I'm clicking on scroll view from there I can click scroll view yeah so these are the scroll views these are the scroll views let me inspect on uh, this one inspector okay might be it get stopped so let me restart again put a break point and start it from uh, debug mode okay sorry I didn't start it on debug mode yes okay, get started cool
so just want to show how the scroll view uh, the xpath look like it's the same way you can get that xpath and whatever you want whenever you create some sort of complex xpath like in scroll view how we can get that so using the xcode accessibility inspector you just you can see the uh, hierarchy but here you can get the scroll view so scroll view xpath the specific to the specific item so from there you can write some relative xpath so it depends upon your requirement yeah this is just launching that web driver agent wait for some time Yes, it started. So, driver agent launched and launched the app. This is clicked. Alert and back. Yes, now it's come to the debug mode. We click yes and go to that uh, Safari inspector. You got that the view. I will go to click on scroll view. And then scroll view, there is no more scroll view. Yeah, so you got that. So just you can see that how it looks. So it will be something like sorry for the disturbance. Uh, so here you can get the locators for each and every specific locators. So using using this, you can form that you are related to XPath. So when you copy any specific XPath for a specific item, so you can it will be look like this. So it's a very huge XPath. You can make accordingly your uh, uh, relative XPath. That that depends on you. Uh, yeah. So that's it about this video. So thanks for watching this video. So if you like, please subscribe it and like it. So and keep uh, post your queries and comments so that I can try to address those uh, things. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for watching.